Good morning, friends. Adju has always t already taken some of my best lines. I'm Margaret Bryan, and I'm a member of York Area Meeting, worshipping at Friargate Local Meeting. And the Suffering's Assistant Clerk, Robert Card, is online. Obviously, I can't see him, but um, <laughs> he has raised his hand, for those of you who can. <laughs> meeting for Suffering's is the largest committee of the yearly meeting, made up of representatives from all the 70 area meetings, plus central committee members, meeting of friends in Wales, general meeting for Scotland, young friends general meeting, and the yearly meeting trustees. There will be about 100 present at our meetings, and since early 2020, these have been fully online, with some more recently blended. I would like to say now a huge thank you to everyone whose technical and administrative support make this possible. And yes, I'm delighted to be here to report to you today in person and online. Again, as you've just been reminded, the 2021 Meeting for Sufferings report can be found at Appendix E on page 27 of Agenda and Notes. I hope you've all had a chance to look at it as it gives a more detailed view of our work than this short introduction will. All our papers and minutes are available on the Quakers in Britain website, quaker.org.uk, for those of you, not just representatives, who wish to follow our work throughout the year. One of the roles of Meeting for Sufferings is to act on behalf of the yearly meeting during the intervening year. So I'm going to focus first on three matters that the yearly meeting has already asked us to attend to. First, minute 37 of yearly meeting 2021 asked the central committees to keep the themes of that yearly meeting, anti-racism, gender diversity and climate justice, at the heart of their work, tasking meeting for sufferings with seeking interim reports as they become available. This is very much work in progress, which will be informed by our considerations here this weekend. A second of our responsibilities is that while the Book of Discipline is being um, revised, any changes to Quaker faith and practice that are proposed by the Church Government Advisory Group are brought to Meeting for Sufferings and reported to you at the next area, uh, yearly meeting. The first of these changes concerned the laying down of the Committee on Clerks, minuted at yearly meeting in 2020. And that led to the acceptance of new terms of reference for our Central Nominations Committee. Then in March this year, we approved changes to Chapter 16, which is Quaker Marriage Procedure, and these will be formally reported to you next year. Minute 28 of yearly meeting 2021 concerned the role of meeting for sufferings and whether a review is needed. So when sufferings met in December 2021, um, we heard the interim report in the, of the group established to review the yearly meeting and yearly meeting gathering, and we accepted a proposal that a review of meeting for sufferings be included in the remit of that group. The outcome of reviewing Meeting for Sufferings may be structural or procedural change. It is connected to the work that trustees are doing on the key priority of simplification across the yearly meeting, work which aims to create more sustainable, more inclusive and simpler structures that will free up time and energy for friends and meetings to devote to reinvigorating Quakerism and putting their faith into action. The aim of becoming a simple church supported by a simple charity will be a theme throughout the period leading to yearly meeting 2023. And Sufferings is alerting yearly meeting agenda committee to the need for time to be given to this in the next yearly meeting agenda. So that's the things we've been doing since the last yearly meeting. We're looking forward to hearing about the things you might have in store for us between now and 2023. From the point of view of our meetings, um, in the rest of 2022, amongst other things, we will be hearing from our Sustainability Monitoring Group and the Book of Discipline Review Committee about their ongoing work. There will be other ongoing matters, 
coming to our agendas before sufferings reports to you again. And I'll, give, I'll just give you a flavour of what those are. Area meetings are at present considering the decolonisation of our language, specifically the use of the term overseer. This will return to us in December for our consideration. Previously, at the request of Central Nominations Committee, we set up a group to review the current practice of limiting the appointment um, to central committees to members only. We will respond to the question, should roles be open to attenders? This is a key question if we are to tackle the issue of diversity in our committees and structures. And thirdly, a concern which has been held for some time by Quaker Life Central Committee about non-geographic membership. This concern has taken on greater significance since the pandemic and the expansion of online worship and has already been referenced in our yearly meeting this weekend. So as I said, one of the roles of Meeting for Sufferings is to act on behalf of the yearly meeting during the intervening year. And we're looking forward to hearing about the things you have in store for us between now and 2023.